Emancipate yourselves from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our minds. Have no fear for atomic energy. Hello, viewers. You're welcome back, Mr. President. The ministers of state, fellow citizens of this great republic, I greet you this evening. I believe that you're doing well. You've had a great weekend. Um, today we're going to talk about churchism, and that is the address that I would like to give. Um, when we cast our minds back to last year, before the December 7th elections, we had most political figures who were going from one religious platform to the other, soliciting for votes. It's because they actually took into consideration that a citizen is actually affiliated to a religious setup. What that means is that they are part of the developmental process of this country. And so if you can cast your mind back again, you realize on our screens, on our various media platforms, we had our current president who was visiting one church to the other, including his cabinet ministers and some of the MPs who belong to the other political setup, visiting from one church to the other, also visiting from one mosque to the other, or any other religious setup that they found relevant into helping them win the elections. Why did they do that? It's because they realized that it plays a certain political role and developmental process in this country. Emancipate yourselves from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our minds. Have no fear for atomic energy. If you find yourself to be a Christian, then you probably belong to a certain denomination. I ask you this question tonight that why do you call yourself a Christian? Why do you go to church yeah. every Sunday? And why do you go to um, church meetings any other day of the week? Is it because you just want to please other people or you just want to please God? Do you even know God? Do you have your belief systems in place? As Christians, you probably say that there's a concept called being born again. When you get born again, you speak in tongues and all of that. And then you go to heaven. Most Christians I know are trying to live good lives, believing in Jesus Christ because they want to go to heaven. But I want to ask this question. In all the package, as far as salvation is concerned, where lies the development of this country in it? Did God just say that he wants us to get saved and then we are raptured into heaven or he wanted us to be relevant on the earth that we find ourselves and that is why um, our challenge as to in humility that anybody who gets born again is not in immediately raptured to heaven Have no fear for it, I mean. 